taking to the stage 50 years ago, a cute three-year-old with chubby cheeks and a toothy grin, Colleen Nolan dutifully followed in her five big sisters' footsteps. She clutched the mic past to her and began to sing. As planned, the baby Nolan was eventually an easy fit in the family girl band formed by their ambitious parents who emigrated with their brood from Ireland to Blackpool to launch a pop career even though Coley might not always have wanted to follow suit. But despite that initial reluctance, and the fact she may never have been labelled the prettiest nor the voice of the Nolans in their heyday, it was little Coley who went on to eclipse them all. Even so, the loose woman has never dared go solo until now. Half grimacing with fright, as she leans into almost whisper news of her tour, the star says she has finally grown up and feels ready to step out of her sister's shadows and take to the stage as Colleen Nolan, singer, in her own right. Isn't it the most scary thing you have ever known and the most exciting as well, she giggles. It's hard to find your independence when you come. From a big family, especially when you're the youngest. But all of a sudden, at 53, I finally feel grown up. It's a great feeling. To prove to myself I can do it. Well, who knows, she backtracks, with another chuckle. I've never really had the confidence to do it. I didn't have the belief in myself. The tour is a step to being independent for the first time in my life, and not being the baby. It is ten years since Coley last sang publicly, alongside three of her sisters, Bernie, Maureen and Linda, in the Nolan's 2009 reunion tour. She had been asked to go solo but, terrified, suggested the reunion instead. Coley had a blast, with the protection of her sisters around her and that of then-husband Ray Fensom, who performed as guitarist in their band. Since then, of course, her world has tipped upside down. Bernie tragically passed away, succumbing to her battle with breast cancer. And Coley is single after splitting with Ray earlier this year. They are now finalizing their divorce. The prospect of going it alone on stage is daunting. But, in a sense, it has also allowed Coley to step up. She says, my whole life has changed in so many ways since that tour, because I don't have Bernie and I don't have Ray. I'm starting a new chapter in my life as a single woman. If Bernie was alive, it wouldn't have ever crossed my mind to do it on my own. We would probably do another Nolan's tour. But to do it again would have felt weird without Bernie, it would have made me really sad. She was the Nolan's for me. Bernie was the singer, really. Coley goes on, but Bernie died, aged 52. Deciding to go it alone has got a lot to do with that, you fear your own mortality. We get frightened of taking risks and chances but I am now kind of on my own and I think, let's take a risk. Bernie would love to be here taking a risk. I don't want to have regrets. That's not to say she wasn't worried about what her sisters might think of her tour decision. Coley admits she has always felt self-conscious about being seen as the most successful in the family. I do worry about what they think of me when people say that. Maybe it's because I'm the youngest, we've grown up together. Because I've been lucky enough to have lots of great things happen in my career. I have often felt guilty when it has been up and down for some of my sisters. I think, I hope no one begrudges me any of that. They really don't at all. But I'm insecure, I'm the youngest. When I've had a number one book or when I won Celebrity Big Brother, I felt, maybe I don't deserve it. But the great British public always seem to have my back and, by God, I love them for it.